tax price agreement and rebates okay so we'll start with taxes okay taxes <clears throat> so the criteria for taxes basically depends on the departure country destination country customer tax classification and material tax classification okay so what that means is if i show you um tax okay so in this slide you can see it depending on four different criteria departure country destination country okay so where we're sending that goods from from which country and where the goods will be received in which country okay of the ship to party then the customer tax classification and material tax classification so let me show you what is tax customer tax classification and material tax classification is so if i go to uh, customer master any customer so if i open this customer so here you can see in the billing tab page for example depending on the countries that uh, a company is using for example the countries here set up are australia germany india united states okay so here <clears throat> we have condition type so MW, mwst is the, the standard condition type for the um, taxes okay so what happens is i'm saying that in germany the tax will be one so what is one if i open this one one means liable for tax zero means no tax okay if i say zero that means if i'm sending the goods to germany if i say zero here that means if i'm saying if i send the goods to the to germany that means that means in the sales order the tax should be zero but if i say one one means liable for tax that means that when sending the goods to germany okay sorry uh, yeah to germany uh, the, the customer is germany then the tax should be um, uh, should be there one one is liable for tax so system will calculate the tax so if it's one system will show the tax tax in the sales order if it's zero uh, then system will not uh, calculate the tax the tax will be zero then okay so similarly depending on uh, where you're using it so so this basically depends this depends on the ship to party okay for example here this is the same same customer we're using here as a ship to party and 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 sold to party okay so that's why i'm looking for this customer because this one is a ship to party as well so for this customer this is the the main setup here so for these countries we're saying that it will be liable for tax or not okay then the second thing is material master okay the same setup we have is in material master so if i open one material here and uh, if i go to sales org 2 uh, here in, in sorry sales general plan tab page not here sorry then in the one sales org 1 yes here so here you can see the same setup is here so what that means is <clears throat> um, so australia australia has uh, sorry is one one means because in australia we use gst so somebody is, is changing the description of something for the tax condition and saying is gst okay or maybe they created a new one so one means liable for tax so in australia for this material is liable for tax and for for one again that means full tax again but if it's zero if i select zero for example for germany if i select zero that means this material will be uh, no tax for germany right so basically this this setup is coming from here as well okay then the main thing is the main thing is so some when we creating a sales order system will check everything system will check from customer master that if it's liable for tax or not also will check the material master okay it will check both and also if i show you the customizing of um if i go to pricing procedure so mwgs mwst is a standard tax condition but if you want to use gst or whatever you want to do it you can copy it and give it a new name and start using it um So if I open processing procedure, 